We headed to Windmill Beach in Simonstown to snorkel in the kelp forest with Cape Brad, a marine field station helping researchers uncover information in the Cape's false bay area. Before kidding up in snorkeling gear, we were briefed on the species of fish we could expect to find among the kelp, with pictures to help us identify them. Elise Kirsten here and I'm with Mike Barron from Cape Rad. Uh, we're about to go into the water at Simonstown Windmill Beach to do a citizen science snorkeling expedition. Tell us a little bit about uh, Cape Rad. Okay, so Cape Rad's a local marine field station based in Simonstown. It stands for Research and Diver Development. And as well as our uh, marine research and our scientific exploration projects we have running, we also have a citizen science engagement program where we try and get the general public, everyone, snorkelers to divers involved, engaged in the environment, get them introduced to conservation techniques and get them in the water with our marine biologists collecting data, uh, hands-on experience. Just come out of the water at Windmill Beach. We had a fantastic snorkeling experience. Saw clipfish, uh, strepies, all sorts of bits and bobs under there. It's uh, really highly recommended. <laughs> 